you get a Misha, and yeah, that's it for you, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, thank you very much. Yeah, like two, three minutes, guys. Sure. Hi. 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 Uh, let's talk fast. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, you did some awesome stuff at the panel today. You hinted out some voter registration cards. Why is it so important to use your platform that you have because you are on Supernatural? to you know, speak out about politics or other... Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, I think that it's everyone's responsibility to be vocal in the world uh, about things that are important. And uh, it just because I happen to be on a TV show doesn't uh, mean that I shouldn't be doing it. Um, I think that you know a lot of a lot of actors are rightfully concerned about staking out positions on issues because they don't want to alienate their fan base. Um, but I happen to think that um, it's important to have an engaged dialogue about things that are important. I care about voting. I think it's a big deal. I think it's I think it's key that young people vote. Young people um, are often not even included when they when they talk in polls about likely voters. They, they do polls of likely voters and they often exclude young voters because young voters are typically not voting. So I like the idea of turning the tables on that and turning young voters into likely voters. So that's something that I'm going to be focusing on um, talking about for the next little while and hope other people join in as well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Hi. Uh, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, Castiel, uh, what can you tell us in one minute or less about yeah. what's happening? Well, everyone is uh, in crisis mode when we start the new season. We're hell bent on rescuing um, Dean from the Michael's thrall, and um, and everyone is has got their sort of heads down and and their shoulders to the grindstone on this one um, focusing working as a team a big team of hunters on that task um, Cass is at relatively he's you know he's at relatively full power uh, you know he gets uh, some he runs into some trouble pretty much right out of the gate but um, but we're you know we're all focused on that mission at the outset. Cass also has the looming prospect of the fall or collapse of heaven um, that's in the back of his mind, but that's not a that's not something that we're tackling right out of the gate. We're, we're first trying to save Dean. <clears throat> we got the amazing Scooby uh, episode Wasn't last year. Wasn't that great? <laughs> yeah, it was. I love that episode. Yeah. And now we have the 300 episode. Can we talk a little bit? about what we can expect or what you would you like to see in this? Well, I have, I have already been a little bit spoiled on that episode, so I have a, an idea of what Andrew is thinking of doing. Um, I can say that it sounds like, um, uh, it sounds like a slightly meta episode, um, and I think it's going to be really cool. Um, but I'm not, I'm not the one to spoil this. I'm not, you're going to have to wait for Andrew to tell you what's happening. Did he give you any hints? Did you ask him? Oh, he told us everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I can talk freely now? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> What's your relationship going to be with, with Jack? Are you going to be more of a father figure to him, like taking over that role now that Lucifer's gone? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think that, that Lucifer ever really got to play the father figure with Jack. He had a couple of uh, scenes worth of, of uh, trying to pal up as, as the dad, but it never really um, developed. Cass, I think, has felt um, a deep responsibility for Jack's well-being from the beginning, and he's also been racked with guilt that he wasn't able to help more early on. Um, Sam and Dean stepped in to fill that void and served as surrogate fathers. Um, I think that now, collectively, it's, it's a little bit like, I mean, Dean is impaired at the moment, but it's kind of like my three dads. You know, we we all are shouldering a little bit of that uh, that paternal responsibility. Um, at this particular juncture, I am uh, shouldering Cass is shouldering the most of that uh, role because Jack is going through some of the same things that Cass went through six or seven years ago when he lost his powers and became human. Um, so I'm uniquely positioned to sort of help shepherd him through this crisis. We're getting the wrap up. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much, much, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.